Let's play. Hey guys, welcome to Super Mario Kart. So in anticipation for Mario Kart 8 going to be released at the end of this month, I've decided this weekend and the next weekend we are going to be playing through the five cups in Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo, the very first Super Mario Kart. Well, the first Mario Kart, not the first Super one. <laughs> There's plenty of Super ones that was ever made. Yeah, so this is probably the mo this is the Mario Kart game I had the most experience with by far. I haven't really played any other ones. Well, that much as this one anyway, uh, so I always use Toad. Toad's like the bomb, he's got the mad sliding skills. And uh, yeah, so these are the four cups we're going to do. Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, Star Cup, Special Cup. Special Cup is very special. So we're going to start with Mushroom Cup Race. Let's just, uh, let's start. 100 CCs by the way. I don't have 150 CCs unlocked. I used to, but the cart like reset itself or something. It's really weird. Oh yeah, boost. <laughs> Take that. I totally smashed the crap out of Cooper there. <laughs> okay, so the first Super Mario Kart. Well, I've got to stop saying that. The first Mario Kart uh, works a bit different to the other ones. Uh, you can see instead of sliding, giving me a boost, you sort of just actually use it to corner instead of just using it whenever the hell you want. And uh, I'd, I'll ex try to explain sliding later, but it's so much easier to do it, try it yourself than trying to explain it. Explaining it is like impossible. So yeah, in, in the first Mario Kart, uh, the CPUs can't pick up the item tiles on the ground. So each computer controlled character has like their own special thing. Um, like Bowser will drop Hotheads, um, Donkey Kong will drop bananas, Mario and Luigi will use stars, like, fucking that. Nice job, Bowser. Then he, like, whacks into me. What adult. Oh, she's really out to get me, gee. <laughs> Almost there, though. You ain't gonna beat me. So, I, did I lap anyone that race? Nah, I can't see anymore. I disappear from the bottom map when I win. So, <laughs> even when you're playing one player, you still only have this really pitiful, like, top space to play on, and I, d I don't really blame them, because, I mean, it was, it was the Super Nintendo, I mean, it, it plays pretty damn well, considering. So, we got nine points for winning, and off to race number two. So, something really cool to mention is, um, this is the PAL version of the game, right? Yeah, well, I'm playing it on a PAL Super Nintendo, so of course it would be, unless I, like, made it unregion lockable bull. But anyway, yeah, it's the PAL version. So, uh, Mario Kart is a really cool exception, whereas usually the PAL versions of games are slowed down because PAL only runs at 50Hz instead of 60Hz. But what they did with Mario Kart is they actually sped the game up so it plays at the same speed as the NTSC version does, which is really cool. So if you were to play the PAL version on an NTSC console by using some kind of 3-boot or whatever the hell you want to call them, the game would actually run faster than the NTSC version. I had run into that, didn't it? Isn't it OP that Peach can just drop those whenever she wants? Well, I wouldn't say whenever she wants, but she's about to hurl, hurl another one at me, and there she, go there she goes. No fair, man. That's no fair. All right, come on, Toad. Let's go. Let's catch up. We got a lot of catching up to do, and not little time. <laughs> yeah, because the ra races, um, the tracks are so short. We only we get five laps instead of the usual three. Yeah, lap four. Oh shit! Don't run in that pipe. Oh, that worked out better than I thought it would. Fucking Luigi, get out of my way. Well, no, he's behind me now. I don't know if we can catch up in time, guys. We might come like second or something here. Ooh. Oh shit, what am I doing? That would have worked usually, but I didn't have enough speed, so the slide like just didn't go as far as I thought it would. Oh man, we are so boned. Unless we can like pull off something here. Hang on. Go through here. Cut, cut, uh, all that. Should have waited a bit longer to use that mushroom. Fucking. They are out to get me this race. They are so pissed. Like, last race I smashed the crap out of them. This race they're like, eh, you ain't winning at all. I'm not even going to come fourth. Jeez. That went really bad. They got all the luck on that one, those stupid CPUs. So yeah, when you get under fourth, you actually 
don't even get to proceed and use one of your continues up. So you have to get at least four to even be able to continue. So, this time, let's just speed ahead with a boost and not let any of them get in front ever. And let's lap them like 50 times for revenge. Haha, uh, I will take my re No, just get off the grass. <laughs> So yeah, the reason I guess I'm sliding around all so much is um because unlike the asphalt, we're on dirt now, right? So we actually slide around a lot more. Huh, you wouldn't think they'd implement something like that on a Super Nintendo game, but they were thinking ahead. She is out to get me. As you can see, the bottom screen like turns to that backwards view automatically when someone's going to throw something at me. But you can turn it to that view at any time by pressing X. <laughs> I think I've said it before, but I love how... The 3DS and DS use the exact same like um, face button layout as, as Super Nintendo because as a kid I could never remember which buttons were where on the Super Nintendo. It's like, uh, is this A or B or is that Y or X? I don't know. But now because of the DS and the 3DS and now the Wii U, I guess it's like so damn easy to remember because so many consoles use this configuration now. So it's like, yep, I know exactly which one's which. Or uh, I suppose if you're an Xbox guy, it's like sort of Y and X is switched and A and B is switched, which is kind of funny. Maybe I'd learn it better if you actually stuck with a coherent controller could design Nintendo. Like, what's this Nintendo, Nintendo 64 controller? I don't even know what the hell that was. Nah, that's not a, that bad of a controller. My sister hates that controller. She's like, no, Nintendo 64 controller, I can't touch it. It's evil. Look, it's got... Six buttons on the face. Look, six, six, six. It's the devil. Oh, what am I? What am I doing? Stop talking about the devil. He's. Oh, this is terrible. It's like I was doing so good the whole race, and right at the end, bam, run into a wall. Oh well, I'll take third though. I ain't complaining. And GameCube controllers use like the same buttons, just they're not in like the four button layout. They're like all over the place. Like one's at the top, one's to the right, and then like A is huge. But I love the GameCube controller, so I can't hate on that. So are we still winning? No, we can't fucking princess. If she's not even called Princess Peach or Toadstool. She's just it's just princess. We'll see how long you can hold your lead for princess. So this is the first ghost house I guess we get to play. Um you have a pretty good grip on the Wood. I guess this is wood. That's what it sort of looks like. I mean, what else would it be? Yeah, I guess it's just supposed to look like the ghost house from Super Mario World, really. And it sort of does, really. Like, if those were in 3D, this is sort of what I expect it to look like. So, they did a good job, I guess. Hmm, so, I suppose now is a better time than ever to try and explain sliding. Okay, so, if I... You press the one of e either... R or L on the top of the controller to initiate a jump, then hold a direction to slide. So if... Oh, how do I explain this? If you let go of both of them immediately, you'll just stop like that. That's I let go of them both immediately there. But if you... If you let go of the... Fucking hothead in my way. If you, if you let go of the trigger only... No, you just stop too. Well, what, how do you do that thing when you slide? Can, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> Shit. Luigi, well, we're just lapping him anyway. We're still first. Suck on that princess. Look how far back she is. She's like all the way back there. I can just like... Um... No, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I win. I'm falling off. <laughs> I still won, princess. You suck up. Look at that terrible last lap. It's actually not that bad. Only like... One more second than the lap before that, where I was still banging in the walls. Only like 13 seconds a lap, though. That's pretty hardcore. Pretty small laps. Now we're tied with Princess. Okay. I guess that means she came third then? No, 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 because that was not, not the. No, I don't, I don't care, man. We're going to win anyway, so why do I care how much point she has? Well, you wouldn't think so now. I'm bloody Nate Flace because I screwed up the boost thing, which has a pretty damn exact timing. you got to do it just slightly after the first beat finishes. Get out of my way, Kong. It's actually um, Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah, Donkey Kong isn't actually in this one. It's his son, because they're father and son. <laughs> yes, Donkey Kong Jr. Speaking of Donkey Kong Jr., that's one of the games they gave out on um, the 
3D. Yes, no, it's not Donkey Kong Jr., is it? It's called Donkey Kong 2. No, yeah, it is Donkey Kong Jr. Never mind. Yeah, that's one of the free games they gave out, gave out on the 3DS for buying the thing while <laughs> they were still really expensive when they just came out. Which I did, by the way, so I got the 10 free NES games and the 10 free Game Boy Advance games on my 3DS. Really like to transfer that to an XL, though. My 3DS is, like, breaking. Like, breaking bad. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so funny today. Uh, the, the R and L trigger is, like, stuffed. Like, I can't play on that reliably. And, um, actually, that's really the only problem with that. My, my original DS is even, like, more broken. The screen keeps, um... Uh, what would you call that? Like, cutting out if you, like, put it in the wrong position? I don't know. And the left speaker keeps cutting out too, but that one still works flawlessly, though. Like, it's more reliable than my 3DS is, and even I bought that in, like, 2006. And the 3DS was 2011, so I don't know, what do you tell me which one works better? No, I'm, I'm never usually annoyed to be an early adopter of Nintendo stuff, because, like, the, the original DS, in my opinion, is still, like, the best DS. It's the most comfortable, it's the most well-built, like, the light was flimsy as, like, all hell. So, that was worse, in my opinion. I didn't care if you could adjust, like, the light settings, man. I don't care if it's not on or off. If that thing's flimsy and it's gonna break, why do I want that instead? But anyway... Yeah, the, the eyes suck. They couldn't play Game Boy Advance games, so they're like, automatic failure. <laughs> yeah, take that, princess, I'm ahead of you. What, what, what the hell was my original topic when I came on to talking about this? <laughs> right, yes, the 3DS games. Speaking of the th free, free DS, oh no, the th free Game Boy Advance games they gave me. One of the three Game Boy Advance games they give you or whoever else got these free rewards was um the Mario Kart on Game Boy Advance. And so I've actually played that a bit. Um, that'd be the third Mario Kart I played the most. The second would be the DS one. I used to play the DS one all the time when that first came out. Um using the download play, that was so fun, you know, doing battles with, like, randoms at school. Because back when DS first came out in my school, like, freaking, oh, it was so great. Like, everyone had one. It was so cool. And you just, like, meet up in the library for, like, eight verses, I think was the max. I'm not really sure, actually. So that was, like, amazing fun. But, uh, sadly, uh, when, like, the years progressed in high school, less and less people had them. And then it was considered not cool to have them. Well, it never really was. It's just, I guess, more people stopped wanting to not be not cool. Or I... Oh, shit, not this again. Someone's just going to flatten me, aren't they? Yeah, here comes Peach. No, no flatten me. I'm going to... Come on, return to normal. Return, return, return. Gee, this is OP. This is OP. Like, look at this. Get unshrink. What? Why did that... That goes too long. Needs nerf. Nerf. Can someone please tell me if that was nerfed in Mario 64? I love it. I appreciate that, because that needs to be nerfed. That was overpowered, man. That shrunk for way too long. Yeah, so where was I? Right, yeah, yeah, um... Well, I kind of actually finished what I was talking about. Yep, it's not cool to have a DS in high school. No, sir. And it was like, I got my 3DS pretty much just before I finished high school, too, and it's like, yep, you have a 3DS. I don't care. It's like, I got, I got it on release day, too, man. It's like... Yeah, I got this thing. It does 3D. What? Man, what? That was so cool. <laughs> uh, it's, I, it's like, I remember it like it was yesterday, even though it wasn't actually that long ago. It was maybe only a couple of years now. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, 2011 is like three years. <laughs> Alright, so that was the final race of the Mushroom Cup. All five done. Um, 39. Yeah, take that, princess. We didn't get a perfect score of 45, but 39 still isn't nothing to laugh at. So here's our reward. A trophy. Not that I didn't already have that for this, as you saw on the, like, course select screen. I already had it for the first three, but I have not gotten any trophy for Special Cup yet, so we'll be seeing the credits when we clear that. Coolly enough. That's, that's coolly... That's not even a word, dude. Congratulations! 100cc Mushroom Cup race. Toad wins the gold. Great race. GG, GG. No, GR, GR. Okay. How dare you put, tell me to push B background. Okay, so we're back at the menu. And that'll be all for this episode, so next time on Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo PAL S video, whatever, we're going to be doing Flower Cup Race. And uh, I'll look forward to that, because Mushroom Cup's definitely one I'm most familiar with, but Flower Cup has some weird, like, mm, maybe chocolate 
island stuff. Yeah, it definitely has that. So I'll see you there for that uh, tomorrow. Take care till then. See you later.